what you can do, which is a cool quick effect, is for example, if you want to turn everything, let's say to mono, you just choose the all button, and here down here you see those little stereo, spatial, and mono switch. That way you can quickly uh, achieve dramatic changes in sound, uh, uh, especially if you do that for for the whole thing at once. For example, if you change it like so, that should sound now quite different. Yes, some crunchy lo-fi feeling. So let's turn those down. Or that what you also can do is what's quite funny is turn down the pitch, turn down the decay, and that way you have some kind of yeah minimal feeling. Very, very staccato. So let's see if we can change something to the arpeggiator as well, because this one is very powerful. As you can see here, you have five, five note lanes. And it always uh, shows, uh, depends on how much keys uh, you've pressed. So this is basically a combination of a Classic and a phrase arpeggiator. Well, for now, let's turn those, switch those back to normal. And the cool thing is here that in uh, each each step, you can decide um, decide if it should play or not. As you can see, for example, you could then as well do some kind of chords. And as you can see, if I press more than three notes, it will advance. And what you could as, uh, do as well is use the phrase mode. So that's a bit different because it always plays the, the whole length of the, of the pattern. As you can see. Now I press, let me press five, five notes. I don't know if I can do that with one hand. Yes, I can. As you can see, it's playing those whole pattern. And what's cool about that is that you can now do things like syncopated styles, like so by changing size, uh, step, length randomly. And you can do all, si all sorts of crazy things with that. Uh, and what is also very cool about uh, the, the interference arpeggiator is the, the harmony fun function. So you can enable that like this, and you have harmony below, above, below and above, or harmony only. So below, above means uh, below or above the notes you play or you press on the keyboard. Let's choose below and above. Basically, let's uh, let's uh, let's go back to the the classic classic mode like so, so that you can hear that better. Yeah. And by the way, on top here on the left side, you can see the uh, arp pattern the up pattern modulation table and that does mean that you can switch uh, your four pattern that you can switch uh, why why you're performing or why things are playing okay that's a bad example now because all patterns are the same oh except that one didn't have double double speed turned on Oh, and uh, I just, <clears throat> excuse me, I just showed you these, um, the possibility that you can change the ending step for each uh, pressed note. There's something similar in the, in the other section as well. As you can see that over here you see and A, B, C, and D. And there you can do the same thing, basically. You can uh, tell it when to, when to repeat the loop, for example. And that is something which is most of the time very cool for for percussion stuff. 
as you never know what to get. It sounds really uh, syncopated and great then. Oh, forgot the... Let me change that here. Back triggering back to normal, like so. Okay. Oh. And let's have a fresh set of sounds. Oh, I forgot that I turned off uh, some, some, a lot of reverb going on here. Let's bring that down. Basically, let's turn it off like so. Uh, 